share RSS feeds on WhatsApp automatically. Yes, guys, in this video, you are going to learn how to share RSS feeds on your own WhatsApp number automatically. So by this automation, you can track any website's RSS feed and it will act as a notification system for you. And as and when any new RSS feed added in the website, you will get a message along with the link of that feed on your WhatsApp so that you can check directly from your WhatsApp what is the update on the website, right? So now let me show you how this is going to work. So this will be the flow of this automation here as and when a new post in the RSS feed is updated on the website, you will receive a message on WhatsApp with the RSS feeds link and the other things, right? So it will surely help you in tracking the website and you need not to manually check for the new RSS feeds in the websites manually. So to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is you can set up this automation in just few steps without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So now let's set up this automation together. So the first step to start setting up this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So to reach here, please use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will give you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. And after uh, setting up the account, you can log in and reach the dashboard. And here you have to create this automation by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So I am giving the name here as send RSS feeds on WhatsApp. So you can give any name according to you. Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created like this. And here you will find this trigger and the action. So this automation actually work on this trigger and action. So as in our use case, the trigger would be any new RSS feed updated on any website and the action would be to send the same feed on the WhatsApp account, right? So first of all, you have to set up the trigger and from this choose app field, you have to choose RSS feature by Pabli. Okay, select this. And in the trigger event, select new item in feed. So it will trigger this, work this workflow when a new item is added to the RSS feed of any website. Select this, then click on connect. And here you have to enter the website URL or the RSS feed URL of the website uh, of which you want to receive the notifications, right? So here, let me open a website. So let's say I am opening this uh, RSS feed of NDTV website and here I want to track this business section of business RSS feed section of this website, right? So I have opened the business RSS feed section and now from the stop search bar, I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to paste this feed URL link here like this. And now when I click on save and send test request, it is going to, this workflow is going to fetch the most recently posted RSS feed from the website. And here you can see we got this details. So we got the title here like this, expect to break even for profitability in next six quarters, PATM founder. Let me show you this. And here you can see this is the most recent title updated on this website, right? And it got fetched here along with the link, publishing date, content and all other things, right? Now, I want that whenever uh, such news feed updated here, I'll receive, I want to receive a notification about this along with the link on my WhatsApp account. For that to happen, you need to connect 360 dialogue application in this uh, action step. So search for 360 dialogue, this one WhatsApp by 360 dialogue. So now you guys are wondering why we are using 360 dialogue application for this purpose. So guys to send messages on WhatsApp directly, you need to have the access of WhatsApp's official API. So 360 dialogue is an application which provides you the official access of WhatsApp's API. So by using this, you can send messages on WhatsApp directly. And to use the services of 360 dialogue and to set up your account here in 360 dialogue, please use the link that we have pasted in the description. 
and when you go through that link and sign up you will uh, you can avail the services of 360 dialog in very affordable and less prices than the usual ones they offer to you so this is exclusively for public connect users right and here in the action event after selecting 360 dialog select a send template message option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and then it will ask for the api key and the domain name to make this connection with 360 dialog so to find these things you need to reach the dashboard of 360 dialog application let me show you here is my 360 dialogs dashboard and here i'm opening whatsapp accounts page and on this page, you will see this button showing generate API key. So by clicking on this button, you can generate a key for yourself. And generating this key is a one time task. Once you get, a, get your key generated, you can use the same key to make the connection uh, any number of times with 360 dialog with the same key, right? And making the connection by filling the API key and the domain is also a one time task guys. After making the connection by filling these two things, you need not to do this again in the next workflow. And to get this domain here, you, you, you will get the domain while generating the key that will look like this link. So you can copy that link and paste the domain here, right? And once you made this connection by filling these two things, next time if you want to make the connection again, just choose existing connection option. And then you don't have to fill out the domain and the key. You just have to click on save as I have already made a connection with 360 dialog previously in a different workflow. So now I can choose this existing connection option and now I just have to click on save and you can see that I'm going to be connected with 360 dialog. You can see we are connected now and here it is asking which template you want to use for this purpose. So first of all, let me tell you what templates are. So I am back here again in 360 dialog and here I'm going to click on manage templates button. And these are the templates I have here. And let me open one for you. So as these templates you can see are nothing but the predefined message structures that you uh, that you can use to send messages to your audience to your customers or clients. So to prevent spamming in WhatsApp you first you need to uh, create such message templates here in this application and get these uh, templates approved by Facebook and after that you can use those templates. So to create such templates just click here on this add template button and here you can give a suitable name to your template. You can select the category. Uh, these are the categories provided to create templates. You can select the language in which you want to send the message. You can select the templates type as standard or media and interactive and here in the body field you have to type the main message of the uh, that you want to send right after filling these things just click on preview and submit and submit your template and then facebook will take 30 minutes to 48 hours to review and approve your template so once you got your template approved you can use it now for this purpose <coughs> I am using a template let me show you. So this is the template I am using to receive notifications about the new RSS feeds. And here you can see in this message I have this 1, 2, 3 and 4 and double curly braces. So what are these things? So these are the variable tags or the body fields of the message. So guys and uh, uh, I am going to use this same message, uh, this same message template for various purpose. So you need to have these body fields in the message so that you can have variable things in the message as you can see in this message here is the update details from dash on dash section so here i'm going to fill the section details and uh, the source from which we are getting those feeds so that can change with every new feed right and the titan title is obviously is going to change with every new rss feed and the link is also going to change with every new feed so these are the things which are going to change with every new message. So to get these things changed with every new message, we are going to map the values of the body fields here in Pabli Connect. All right. So that's why you need to have these body fields necessarily available in strategic places in the template, right? So let me first select my template here from this template field, which is RSS feed template. 
all right so after selecting your template uh, you can see the namespace and the language code is filled up automatically and here it is asking for the whatsapp for the recipient's mobile number or the whatsapp number so here i'm going to fill my number only like this <clears throat> right and i have to fill this number in this format with a plus sign and a country code right and now it is asking for the body fields so let me map the body fields so here you can see uh, here is updates details from this on this section so now i'm going to use this data that i have received from the website and i'm going to map this data here in this body fields so uh, for the first body field just click here and from this rss step this was the first step you will find it here click here and you will find these details so from here only i am going to map here this category which is showing market news all right so it will appear here here is update details from uh, from market news and on this section all right mm, let me check what we can map here <coughs> All right, so let me reshuffle this in the second body field. I'm going to map this category. And here I'm going to just uh, mention the website address. Right, I'm putting here like this and RS is feed and this is the market section. And now here I'm going to map the title of the uh, blog or post and here I'm going to map the link all right so we are done mapping the things now I can show you how the message will look like because I have the access of this whatsapp account that I've uh, filled here this is the whatsapp account and now I'm going to click on save and send test request and you will see a new message in the whatsapp number all right so we have received a new message and the message is this you can see here is update details from our NDTV RSS feed on markets new section this is the title and this is the link so when you click on this link you will reach the RSS page of NDTV like this so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up this automation and this trigger that we have applied here is going to check in every eight hours uh, that if there is any new RSS feed in the uh, RSS item in the feed or not. So if there is a new RSS in every eight hour, the same feed is going to be captured and you will get a message here like this. So we are done setting up this automation and here we have connected RSS feature by probably in the trigger, fetch the RSS feed from uh, your chosen website after that i connected 360 dialog application selected the template and mapped the data and we are done so now you don't have to do anything manually after setting up this automation it is going to work automatically and the good part is you can use the same workflow that i've just created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.